Howdy, happy cappers. It's another fine day out here in southwest Oklahoma. Well, this video is to give you people an idea from my own experience the cost for using electric and gas combined driving my 2021 20, Toyota RAV4 Prime after 20,000 miles. Now, the numbers here okay, are based on my own experience and breaking it down for a week's worth of driving, a month's worth, and even a full year. Even giving you an idea how it compares to other vehicles. So, if you are considering buying a plug-in hybrid, and it doesn't matter if it's a Toyota RAV4 Prime or another plug-in hybrid, based just on the fuel and electric cost alone, then stay tuned as you might find it very, very interesting. Be right back, happy cappers. Now, you've probably seen videos out there and even pamphlets and flyers, you know, Google, where it says it gets uh, at least 42 EV miles to the charge. Uh, I've even seen a video that one guy, I think from Canada or France or somewhere, got like 50 kilometers to a charge. So I have no idea what type of driving habits they have. Or what they're doing, but that's kind of low. I can tell you. The lowers I got uh, below 40 was because I was towing uh, a trailer. But anyway, I guess it's from my, I think it depends on your driving. If you treat the vehicle right, it'll treat you right. You know, if you're right there, uh, pedal to the metal, a heavy foot, you know, stop and go like within a second, maybe your gas mileage is bad. That's the reason why. I couldn't honestly tell you, but I'm going to show you from my experience here. Uh, how I get a better mileage per charge on my vehicle. And there it is, 58 EV miles charged overnight. And let's get to it. Just to show you real quick from the charge to, uh, last night, drove it this morning, 5.6 miles. Still got 54 EV showing here. All right, so let's see what we'll get at the end of this trip. And that's the end of our trip there. I pretty much drove just half a day. Let me show you the mileage here, in case you weren't, there it is. Okay, 34 EV miles left. Drove 24.2 miles. All right, pretty good. So it can reach easily 58 EV driving miles. In the city, that is. Here's a tip for you. Whenever you get a chance, let the regenerative braking system regenerate the power back to the battery. Coast when you can as much as possible as you see there a change because it's using the power of the battery to move the vehicle coasting again here like going over the railroad tracks let it regenerate every chance you get take it easy don't be a lead foot or i should say don't be heavy on the foot again when you're coming to a stop for example that far away just take your foot out the brake let it regenerate and don't stop all of a sudden. Stop nice and easy. See that right there? On the charge, keep it at that level as much as possible. And in here, just to show you what I mean, just like before, doing at 40 miles, 42 now, still between the echo and charge. So the least energy you use, the better mileage EV wise you'll get. It's that simple. And just close as you stop, let it charge slowly, not fully depressed. And just like that, take it nice and easy. And accelerate. 
nice and easy. When it comes to doing your best to maximize the range mileage on your RAV4 Prime, do your best to put it on cruise control like that. As you can see, it's charging because it will determine what's best for it automatically so you don't have to worry too much about it. Here you are coming to the light. Just cruise through there. And there's the power output, as you can see. Using the cruise control as much as possible really maximizes the efficiency of the regenerative hybrid system. And here we are filling up October 22nd, 2021. Only fill up at one place that has top tier, which is Conoco. All right. Even though it costs for 87, I always put 89 octane. The reason I get it from here because of top tier. It keeps the engine clean, the tank clean, and it's a cleaner fuel. And there it is, Happy Campers. 20,000 miles, still got 385 HB left on there. Got this June the 3rd, 2021. It is now July the 24th, 2022. And let's see what the HB is showing here. And that's the last cumulative right there. 4119.8 kilowatts accumulated. Pretty good. So let me show you this website here. If you're thinking of buying a vehicle, any type, whether it's electric, gas, hybrid, you name it, go here first. That way you can decide and see and test and have an idea whether it's gonna save you any money or whether you don't want to do it based on the fuel and savings alone. Pretty good, fueleconomy.gov right here. Keep in mind a lot of these videos out there they borrow a RAV4 Prime for a few days or a week as a loaner. Then they test drive the vehicle to see what mileage they get out of it. Now, that's not very realistic. As we all know, there's multiple factors to consider. The kilowatt hours, cost in your area, the weather, the gas prices, the terrain, use heat and air, and a whole list of other factors. Not to mention, as I'm making this video, the full tax rebate credit of 7500 for the RAV4 Prime is going away. And this is one website you can check to see what's current out there. So here, as we all know, the standard window sticker on the Toyota RAV4 Prime, the numbers here, uh, self-explanatory. My point is this. This is tested on 15,000 miles per year at $2.35 per gallon at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. That here comes up with these numbers here and how much you save annual. Unless I read it wrong, or maybe someone can correct me out there, it says annual fuel cost is $750. It does just the fuel cost. Now, to give you an idea, on my driving I drove 20,000 miles and it cost me a total, that's fuel and gas, $903 total. That's way above this if, it is, if this is just the fuel cost alone. So let's say whatever vehicle you have, you want to test it out, you get an average of 25 miles to the gallon, or even let's just say 30 miles to the gallon, put it that way. And of course the Rad4 Prime here, I'm going to just round it off to 90 to show you. Uh, in fact, I'll change it. And this is on the same website to calculate how much you're saving this. Let's just put it at 85. See how it changes right here? Automatic, you just plug it in there, just like that. Yearly cost, monthly, weekly, it's pretty good, really. If you look at it, it gives you an idea what savings you might have from vehicle A to vehicle B. And just to give you an idea, it that's the same site, except I put in 
the 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe I had at 25 and of course here's the vehicle B of the Prime you can plug in the numbers here change it however you want it's pretty good electricity here at nine cents for me uh, gas price 390 we could change that to three let's just say 375 recalculate watch it change right here there it is pretty good use it to your advantage learn and decide whether it's beneficial for you in the long run you know 10 years yearly monthly so forth so let's say you looked around decided okay I want to try the Prime or the Santa Fe Chevrolet or even here the same website again that's why I like it let's add a vehicle here for example what are we going to use let's try 2022 let's go with a Ford everyone likes Ford and let's go with an escape how about that a plug-in hybrid escape and there it is and here's the breakdown right here compare boom just like that it shows everything out there so you don't have to drive around on a lot it'll show you the sticker everything you want to know about the vehicle most of it anyway gallons used tank size cost to drive 25 miles pretty good right here the vehicle here again you can change it however you want play around with it uh, because again it's pretty good now here's my point like I said the same here it'll tell you the federal tax credits for everything current so don't believe the dealer go here all right they just want your money of course but you want to go here to see what's current the federal tax credit up to 7500 yes it's true just to show you what I got here is going away as you we all know but here is what I received back as your proof now not everyone is into the Toyota brand we know that simply put select the different vehicles right here compare it check out the links on this video the various tax credits right here all right that will give you an idea of what you want if you just want plug-in hybrids right here all right check for recalls vehicle problems dependability even cost of insurance heck i was surprised when i added my 2021 toyota ride for prime on my insurance it only increased it to get this $26 extra not every month but $26 extra for a six-month policy now that's fre freaking outstanding in my book here's another site vehicle cost calculator nice check it out that way you can have multiple sources plug-in hybrid Santa Fe the same thing even here Nissan Rogue just gasoline annual fuel cost electric well, you get the idea. I don't want to waste any more of your time with my jibber jabber. I hope you find this video useful, helpful. Pass it on to your friends. All I'd want to do is just share it with you. As we all know, you know, everything's going up in prices. We never know how much the vehicles will cost uh, in the next few years. But save you money.